I have a lot of sprinkles. <laughs> I mean, I have um, at least three shelves of sprinkles. So I probably have a good, um, at least 50 varieties of different sprinkles that I enjoy using. I think sprinkles make everything a little bit more fun. I'm Andrea Pendleton. I'm the Director of Development for the College of Pharmacy at Mercer University, and I make custom decorative cookies. I got started making custom cookies by taking a class hosted by two Mercer alumni. I've always really loved baking. I've baked cakes and cookies for my entire life. My mom's an awesome baker, so I've learned a lot from her. And after I took the cookie decorating class, it gave me an opportunity to really focus on becoming a more skillful cookie decorator. And after posting them on Facebook and Instagram, a lot of people started reaching out to me and asked if I could start making cookies for their events. The process for making custom cookies starts off with a dough. So I make the dough um, from scratch. Came up with my cookie recipe based on a cookie recipe I grew up with that my mom made around Christmas time. And so it's kind of based on a family recipe that I've made on my own. And then from there, the dough typically needs some time to chill overnight. Then I'll bake the cookies in the oven and let them cool. From there, I'll do the first layer of royal icing, which I also do homemade. And it dries really hard, so that way you can get really pretty detailed designs that are a little bit shimmery as well. After the details, I'll then seal the cookies and um, put them in a cute little box before um, giving them to whoever ordered them. Some of my favorite designs are doing baby showers or wedding showers for my friends. And so I really enjoy doing floral patterns um, and doing small flowers is a lot of fun. I love sprinkles, so adding sprinkles in to make it more fun with a funfetti cookie. A lot of times people will reach out to me with a theme and we'll just brainstorm together about what they want their cookie to look like. So that's always fun, kind of dreaming up what the design will look like for a kid's birthday or their wedding or something like that. I did some election cookies, some Georgia voter stickers. Christmas time is definitely my busiest time where I typically make about 50 dozen cookies a month. Really, I enjoy baking as a creative outlet. Um, I'm hoping to formalize it a bit more and officially get an LLC and a cottage license this year. Um, but I think of it more as a hobby than a business right now. Um, but I'm looking forward to making a little bit more um, of a traditional business over the next year. I think one of the things I hear most about my cookies is that they're too pretty to eat, but I hate hearing people say that because I really want them to enjoy eating them. I think that's part of the fun, that you enjoy it with your eyes, but you also like really enjoy a great, delicious dessert as well. And it's awesome to hear how the cookie has just made their day a little bit more special.